This is James Flaskamp, digital learning coach at Independence High School in Frisco, Texas, and this is Genially in 5 minutes. So you've decided to try Genially. Good choice. First things first, let's create a free account. Go to genial.ly, click create your free account, enter your info or use Google, check the box, and click sign up. From your dashboard, click create Genially. In this tutorial, we're going to create my personal favorite type of Genially, the breakout. The best way to begin is with one of the pre-made templates. If you don't have a premium account, you can filter it to show only free templates. Let's check out this mystery breakout. Looks good, let's use it. This takes you to this screen, the Genially Editor. If you've ever used PowerPoint or Google Slides, the interface should look familiar to you. Starting at the top, you have Back, Forward, and Save buttons. You can title your Genially here. In the top right, you can add collaborators, preview the finished product, publish once you're all done, and access the settings. You have a bunch of pre-made template pages here on the left with cool Spanish names. Genially is based in Spain after all. You click on a page, it appears in the window. You're able to easily rename pages if you want. You can also choose a transition for the page, add a password for the page, hide the page, copy the page, or just toss it in the trash. You can add a page right here or down here, and it allows you to pull pages from this template, other Genially templates, and even other creations you've made. At the bottom, you have a delete page button, zoom controls, page flipper, canvas settings, page navigation settings, and the document colors menu. We don't have time to get into all of these right now, and that's okay because the template already has these things set up for you. Phew. You'll spend the majority of your time over here. Clicking the logo takes you back to the dashboard, so be careful with that. On the selected page, you're able to add text, images from a variety of sources, icons, shapes, graphs, illustrations, you get the idea. Interactive elements like buttons, markers, and even invisible interactive areas. Smart blocks, which are a bunch of pre-designed elements like charts and graphs. Audio files or links, video files or links, and even items you're embedding from other sites. And you can customize your background. They even have fancy animated ones. The beauty of a Genially template is that everything is already designed, linked to the correct pages, and so on. All you really need to do is make it your own. Do this by clicking the text boxes and adding your own content and personalizations. Notice that when you click on a text box or other page element, these little icons appear. The one on the right is the animation button. Click on this to customize how the element enters or exits. You can also have animations that run continuously or only happen when you hover the mouse over the element. Now check out the little pointing finger icon. This brings up the interactivity menu where you can choose what happens when someone clicks on the element. You have four options, tooltip, window, go to page, or link. Each has a corresponding explanation so you know what it does. This character's text, for example, has a go to page interaction that sends you to this people page when you click it. Genially is built off these kinds of links and interactivities, so if you can get a good handle on how these work, you'll understand Genially a lot better. A good way to do this is just to click on different elements in the templates and see how they're all linked. If you select more than one element, you'll notice this little icon appears. This allows you to group those elements together so they all move together and the same animation and interactivity applies to all of them. With any breakout template, I suggest clicking through, looking at the pages, doing some previewing, and getting an understanding of the overall flow of the breakout. This particular one has a story intro, characters, map, and the main segment of the breakout, the missions. The missions are set up as drawers you need to unlock by completing a variety of tasks. You win the game once you've unlocked all the drawers. So now, time to personalize. Give it a title, create some kind of narrative to explain to students what they're doing here and what they're trying to accomplish, include characters if you want, though I do often skip this part, and identify your map locations. You may choose to include or link some instructional content, or if you've already done the teaching, just jump right into the missions. In this one, all the missions are basically multiple choice questions that have been cleverly disguised within game elements like hidden interactive areas that must be found, elements that need to be dragged to reveal the next area, secret codes that help you continue navigating forward, and a final page protected by a password composed of numbers you've collected along the way. It doesn't have to be numbers, by the way. The password can be anything you want. So once I've gone through and added my content, I have a final product. I click All Set. I'm going to make this particular one public and reusable, then I'll click all set again. Then I click share, copy the link, and distribute it to the masses. You can access and make a copy of this completed Genially if you want. Just use the link I've provided in the video description. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Let me know if you have questions and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more digital learning resources. This is James the DLC, signing off.